Hi everyone, I'm here today to show you how you can utilize potentiometer feedback from your linear actuator. A potentiometer is a variable resistor that when used with linear actuators, the resistance changes based on the position of the actuator. This allows us to use them for positional feedback. If your linear actuator has a potentiometer, it'll have three additional wires. One for input voltage, one for ground, and the other would be the output of the potentiometer. You could read the output of the potentiometer by measuring the voltage between the output and ground. To effectively utilize this feedback, you'll need to make use of some type of controller, like an Arduino. To connect the potentiometer feedback to the Arduino, you simply need to plug in the power to five volts, the ground to ground, and the output of the potentiometer into one of the analog in pins of the Arduino. These analog in pins are analog to digital converters, which convert the voltage on the output line of the potentiometer to a digital signal which can be used in the Arduino. Arduinos use a 10-bit analog to digital converter, which means the voltage will be converted into 2 to the power of 10 distinct values, which will range from 0 to 1023. Although your potentiometer will not necessarily output this range, as the gearbox inside of the linear actuator will prevent the potentiometer from rotating to its limits. I've also connected the Arduino to a motor driver, which I'm using to control the linear actuator. If you want to learn more about how to connect a linear actuator to a motor driver board, check out the video in the corner. Once the Arduino is wired up to your potentiometer, you essentially just need to develop code to read the analog in pin that the potentiometer is connected to. In this code example here, every time I drive the linear actuator, I update the position uh, value and print it to uh, my serial display. So I'll just show you how that goes. So once the linear actuator moves forward, the position moves up, and once I retract it, the position goes down. The value that is printed is just the analog to digital converted value, but you may want to convert this into uh, an actual position value in inches. You can do this by uh, using the maximum and minimum values that you get from your potentiometer. So you can see here that um, currently my minimum is at 52-ish, and then that the maximum is at about 952. I've now updated my Arduino's code to take the potentiometer value and convert it into inches. As you see before, I'm using just a ratios to come up with a formula. You can see I have the 52 to balance it out to zero, and I have this value by just using the range, which was 952 to 52, and my stroke length, which was four inches to zero inches, and came up with this value here. Now, when I print the value to the serial uh, display, it'll show up as uh, in inches. So you can see here, I'm pushing it forward, which at my maximum, and it displays four inches. And when I retract, we can see value goes down towards zero. You can see there's a bit of a rounding error on my formula. So we're going down to negative 0.1. So I might need to tweak that uh, ratio uh, formula a little bit more. And that's how you use potentiometer feedback from a linear actuator with an Arduino. If you're having any issues setting up your potentiometer feedback or, or seeing things like electrical noise in your potentiometer signal, you can check out our blog post on the topic. And while you're there, you can check out all these products and much more at forgeliauto.com.